The Member of Parliament for South West St. Catherine, Everald Warmington, launched a racially charged broadside against the opposition leader Mark Golding on Thursday. Addressing the West Kingston Constituency Conference, Mr. Warmington said he would rather die than be led by a white British man. The controversial MP also urged the opposition leader to seek office in Britain where he believes he'd be more comfortable. Norgay Banton reports. No white man can lead me. Everald Warmington made his displeasure clear about the prospect of PNP President Mark Golding becoming Prime Minister. I said repeatedly, the claim I was a white man and shouldn't lead us, and those same here who all over the south I talk about this now, they want this a white man. So why you can talk at what Siago all this year became white? And because it's a white man come, you think you can lead Jamaica over my dead body. Over my dead body. To loud cheers from the packed audience gathered, at the Tivoli Gardens High School, Mr. Warmington urged Jamaicans to put Mr. Golding back on a boat and send him to England. We are a salary all while. We are descendants of the slaves. We don't want to descend of slave masters and rule us again. We don't want it. In 1838, we threw up the chain. And then got trench tone and lift up chain and chain. Throw chain, chain again. For what? For put me in a chain again. You know what going to happen? Jamaican are so stupid. What we need to do? Put him back on the banana boat and send him back to England. It was revealed that Mr. Golding was a British citizen by descent. He's since renounced his British citizenship after much public outcry. The Southwest St. Catherine MP told Labourites that the opposition leader only selfishly bowed to public pressure. He says Mr. Golding should seek office back in England and leave Jamaica. What I want to say tonight, England have five prime ministers in two years because they can't find nobody. So this English white man, if you want some prime minister, go England, they can't find nobody up there. They might use him. A country who have five prime ministers in two or three years, can't find nobody. So I'm better knock an Englishman door and say, Mr. King, may I come and left us alone. We just saw, we stand for Andrew Holness. You stand for this man. We work together for the Jamaica party to ensure victory is secure. Thank you, my brother. Nora Gay Banton for Nationwide News. Meanwhile, Mr. Warmington also launched another attack on pollsters who've suggested the PNP are ahead. According to him, there's no doubt the JLP will secure a third term. You hear some stupid nonsense coming out about poll saying this and poll saying that? What me say? F poll. Labor rights strong, labor rights solid, and that effing thing now gonna away. You hear me? Those polls are paid for by PMP. And if PMP pay for it, you go and get PMP poll. I was on Cliff Hughes program some weeks ago, you know, and talked to press. And he asked me, and I said, look, I'm in this thing now 56 years. I won seven elections. And I can tell you, what they're saying is not what I'm feeling on the ground. Totally not. And regardless of what the ones say, Hanju Holness and Leo Party will do the third term.